As the coronavirus crisis continues to evolve, we have to ask the question, what will El Paso's new normal look like when all is said and done? For the answer, we turn to ABC7 medical contributor Dr. Ogachika Lozi with Sunset Care West. So, I mean, we're not going back to the old normal, Doc. What is the new normal going to look like? It all depends on who you are. And I think that if you are healthy, middle-aged, vaccinated, the reality is, and you see this across the community, people are engaging as if SARS-CoV-2 doesn't exist. A lot of places you go to, they're not wearing masks. People are going out to eat again. Younger people are going to bars and restaurants, as I think is appropriate. If you're older, and I really hit that cut off at about 60 to 70 years old and above, you may have changed your behavior a little bit and you may never go back to that normal. You may continue to mask, and I think that may be appropriate. And I think, again, we shouldn't get into camps with this. There's no need to get angry if somebody wears a mask or doesn't wear a mask like we saw the other day. I think people just need to make their own decisions and continue to move forward. So having said that, what does public health in the borderland look like going forward? You're an infectious disease specialist. Give me a sense, uh, look in your crystal ball, if you will. Yeah, this isn't a crystal ball issue. This is a money issue. It's all about money. And I think the city and the county have to be focused and dedicated. We can't go backwards, right? At a point in time, we probably had one of the best responses to SARS-CoV-2 around vaccination in the state of Texas and possibly across the country. To continue that, it requires data. Data is the new gold. All the rest of our life is driven by data, whether it's our phones, our banks, everything else. For public health to be a 21st century organization, our health systems are going to have to have investment that allows them to look at that data, whether it's wastewater, whether it's being able to pick up hospital trends and positivity trends, but we need to staff up and fund up so that the health department can do its job and help us battle through this public health time. Information is power, in other words. Absolutely. All right. Dr. Ogachiko Lozi, ABC7 medical contributor, as always, thank you very much. Thank you.